Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you today with empties and lots and lots of empties. This happens every single time I start getting this huge bag full of empties and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until I finish this thing. Oh, I'm almost out of this thing, I'm gonna wait. And then it ends up being so many products. I feel like I, I just filmed an empties. It's only been two months and I have so many products that I have gone through. I'm realizing the older I get, the more of a creature of habit I am. So a lot of these may be repetitive things, but if you're new to my channel, if you've never watched one of my Indies videos or my skincare routines, you may not know some of my favorites. So I still like to do these videos, bring my empties to you so you can see what I have absolutely been loving and going through. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna get some of the big things out of the way first. These are two empties of my Castile soap, liquid Castile soap. So this is Dr. Bronner's and this is the unscented and this is just the Simple Truth Kroger brand and this is coconut vanilla. This is what I use to clean my makeup brushes and it's the best. I have been out for a little bit as you can see and I keep forgetting to get it at the grocery store and so I've been using like a Castile bar soap to wash my brushes and I do not like it near as much as I like the liquid. So if you are in the market for an affordable makeup brush cleaner, I highly recommend this. It's what I've used forever. I use it on my personal brushes. I use it on my kit brushes. I love it. Another big item is um, my shower gel, and this is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. There's still some down in here, but I, I can probably use that and use it on Zeus because he gets this for his baths too. <laughs> this is not my favorite of the philosophy scents. Probably my favorite is fresh cream. The warm cashmere I thought I would like better, but I don't. I don't dislike it, but I do like the fresh cream the best. And I get these on QVC. You can get them for really good prices. Again, that's like a repetitive thing that I don't tend to typically veer away from. I went through two of my self tanners. They are both from the company called Mind Tan. This is the Express Self Tan Mousse in Ultra Dark. And this is the actual like tanning mousse. So it's got the color in it. And then this one is the Boost and Enhance Everyday Tan Booster. I don't use this every day. What I do is I use this once a week. And then a few days later, I use this. So I use each of them once a week. Um, it just keeps my tan a little bit fresher. They're my favorites. I've tried lots. I always go back to these. And I get these. Ulta used to carry mine tan. I don't think they do anymore. And so I get mine on QVC. Another body product that I went through is from Farmhouse Fresh. This is the Vanilla Bourbon Body Oil. I talked about this in one of my favorites a couple of months ago. This smells so incredibly good. Oh, so good. I love a body oil. I prefer a body oil to a body cream. It's not that one is better than the other. It's just that it's personal preference. And I went through this one fairly quickly because it was all that I used there for a while. And I also have the, I think it's Red Hot Shandy maybe. And then I have tried the Agave Nectar one and the, I want to say Kinsenberry, but it's something like that. And they are both so good. So I will be repurchasing this. I'm going to get through some of my other body oils first, but I loved it. A couple of cleansers that I went through. My Leilani Pample Mousse Tropical Enzyme Cleansing Oil. Love this. This is probably the third one that I've gone through. As far as cleansing oils go, this is this one and the MAC Cleanse Off Oil are my favorites. Right now I'm using the Elemis Cleansing Balm, the Naked Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which I never would have said before that I would ever use a cleansing balm, but that one is so good and it does not freak me out. So I'm really enjoying that one. But as far as cleansing oils go, this one and the MAC are definitely my favorite. I went through a Sunita's Milk and Honey Cleanser. This is one of my very favorite cleansers. It is marketed for dry skin. I mean, I feel like any skin type can use it, but it is more of a cream cleanser. It smells fantastic and it works really well. It's in a very nice large five fluid ounce bottle. So love Sunita's Milk and Honey Cleanser. And then I went through a travel size of the Truth Treatment Systems Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser. If I'm gonna be completely honest, this is not my favorite cleanser. Uh, I much prefer the Sunita's to this one, but I like how this one is in the travel size. I have a few of those, so it's just what I take with me traveling. But as far as a cleanser that I keep on my vanity that I use daily, 
I would pick the Sunitas over this one. It's not a bad cleanser. I know a lot of people love it. I just much prefer the Sunitas. The Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover, do I even have to say? At least one makes it into every single empties video. It's my favorite. A lot of times, because I use primers on my eyelashes and I tend to use a lot of eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer, like a lot of times my, even my cleanser, my cleanse, cleansing balm or cleansing oil will not get every trace of mascara off. So I need to go in with something a little more afterwards. And this is my favorite. Let's talk about some serums or my treatment steps. I feel like some of these are going to be, are gonna feel like I'm going through my PM skincare routine, which I recently posted, but it's because I use them every single day. The Osmosis MD Rescue, one of my very favorites. It really helps with my redness. It helps if I have any breakouts. It's just a very good go-to serum with minimal ingredients. This is the one Osmosis product I can use that does not break me out. Highly recommend this. And then the Elastin Restorative Skin Complex is one of my favorite overall anti-aging serums. And I use both of these every single night. Two things that I use every single morning that I went through, the Neogenesis Recovery Serum. This is the Cellular, cellular Repair Serum. I think by the time this goes up, my AM skincare will have gone up. So you will have seen more about this in that video, but this is so good. So good. And another so good will not be without serum is the Truth Treatments Transdermal, Transdermal C Serum. This one you don't see in every empties because it lasts forever. And both Chad and I use this and it still lasts a good nine months before I have to repurchase. I use two drops every single morning and it is by far my favorite vitamin C serum that I have ever used. It is a tetra hexdecal exorbate versus an exorbic acid. So it is more shelf stable. It is maybe not as irritating, but it works just as good for me, if not better than an LAA serum. So definitely hands down my favorite vitamin C serum. It may not be in every empties, but it's been the only vitamin C that I have gone through for like the past two years. Another morning skincare serum that I have been using is the Shantikai Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really like this. I have another one that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm gonna wait to pull that out of my cabinet until I go through some other hyaluronic serums that I need to finish first, but I really enjoy this. It's a gel formula. I mix it with a mist and it works great at plumping up my skin and I have no complaints. And then finally, this is more of like a treatment than a serum, but it is the Curology um, Tretinoin Combination Treatment Cream that I use. This is in combination with azelaic acid and niacinamide. I use this five nights a week. I talked about it in my um, nighttime skincare routine, and I have been using it for almost two years now, and I really don't envision myself going to anything else anytime soon. It just works really well for my skin. I went through the Osmosis MD Boost Peptide Activating Mist. I did use this with my Rescue Serum for quite a while. Someone asked me in my PM skincare routine if you had to use Boost. I'm not an expert. I don't want to say one way or the other. I think that, of course, they're going to tell you you do because it means you buy more than one product. Um, but... I've used just regular mist and I feel like I don't see any difference in how it's working for my skin, but I did finish up the boost. No complaints. Didn't break me out. It was a good mist. I finished up my Clarity Brighten It 10% Lactic Acid Solution. Again, talked about this in my exfoliation video that I'll try to put a card up for. And it is my favorite toning product for exfoliation because it does contain lactic acid, which is my favorite form of AHA for my skin. So went through that, already had a backup and I'm using that. Oh my goodness, Chad, there is a dead spider in the bottom of this bag. Oh my goodness, y'all. That's what you get for living in the country and putting your empty bag on the bottom of the floor in the bathroom. Can't. Okay. Oh, back to regularly scheduled program. I feel like stuff's crawling on me now. Okay. The Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment, my favorite eye cream. Again, 
talked about that in my PM skincare routine. I feel like there are 800 bugs crawling on me right now. All right, let's talk about some moisturizers because I have quite a few. Oh, wait, here's another eye cream that I'm out of. This is the Chantecaille um, Stress Repair Concentrate. Talked about this in my AM skincare routine. Y'all, this little sucker is expensive, but I am really contemplating repurchasing this because it is really good. Like good, good. I really enjoy it. So I'm on the fence about that, but I'm telling you, I really liked it. All right, some moisturizers. I finished up the Bio Cream Firm from Neocutis. Absolutely no complaints about this moisturizer. Like it, recommend it. The next two I'm gonna talk about I like more, but this is a very good one. This is a moisturizer that contains growth factors, just like their Bio Serum Firm, and it comes highly recommended. And again, I enjoy it. I think it's great. But now these, the Neogenesis moisturizers are by far my favorite. This is the Barrier Renewal Cream, which I like to use in the morning. And this is the Intensive Moisturizer, which I like to use at night. Both absolutely beautiful, wonderful products. Neogenesis cannot go wrong in my book. If you've watched me for any length of time since I've started using them about a year ago, you know that. I just can't stop singing their praises. I went through my Revision Nectifirm Advanced. This is my favorite neck cream. Some people will say you don't need a neck cream, just bring your other products down your neck. That's fine if that's what you choose to do. I like to use a product that's specifically for the neck and I have really enjoy this. I feel like I see the most results with this. And when I say results, I mean, I feel like my neck kind of stays where it's at versus getting worse when using this versus other neck creams. I went through my Leilani Melly Glow Illuminating Nectar Mask. I have a lot of masks in my collection. This one has just a tiny bit, bit left, but not enough for a full face. But I'm telling you, this one is my second jar that I've gone to of this specific mask. I love it. I really love it. Leilani masks are so good. So love that one, the Melly Glow Illuminating Nectar Mask. And then the last thing in this bag is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is in Sweet Candy. I prefer the original to the Sweet Candy as far as scent goes but I did like the sweet candy. The Laneige is beautiful. I love it. I use it every night before I go to bed and I use it in the morning after I have done my skincare to get me through until I do my makeup. They have a lot of like holiday launches that they just put out on Sephora, which has like limited edition scents. So I'll probably be getting that as well. But this is the one I used up and and I feel like it's a feat to use up one of those because it, I use the tiniest amount and it is a ton of product. Now I'm gonna switch over to this bag, which is what I keep in my office slash beauty room when I finish up a makeup product. These are two boxes of the Jane Aradell Advanced Nutrition Skin Youth Biome. This is my probiotic. I use it daily, I love it. I have sung its praises for a very long time and I highly recommend it. One box is two months worth of probiotics. I'm making sure there's no spiders in the bottom of this one, y'all, too. Speaking of Jane Aradell, I have a few empties from them, starting with brow pencils. I know I have these in every empties. It's my favorite brow pencil. Occasionally, I will get blonde, and that's what I like to use if I am not wearing any makeup. If I am wearing makeup, I like to use Ash Blonde because... Once I get a full face on, my brows kind of lighten up a little bit by comparison, if that makes sense. So these are three ash blonde and one blonde of their retractable brow pencil, which obviously is my favorite. Two other favorites from Jane Ardell that I'm finished with is the liquid minerals, y'all. Mm, so good. Every single time I wear this, I'm like, why don't I just wear this every day? Really, why don't I just wear it every day? I have a separate review just on this. I feel like it has a little bit of a learning curve. I feel like um, it doesn't get as much love as I feel like it deserves. So if you have been interested in this product, even if you don't have a clue what this product is, I recommend you go look at that video because you're gonna want this product. I can promise you that. And then the Enlighten Plus Under Eye Concealer. This is, the cap is so dirty, but this is what I use for my corrector almost every single day and it lasts forever. I want to say this one lasted me like, I don't know, eight months. You just need the smallest little amount and tap it under the eyes and it gets rid of that darkness. I am the color number one. 
I am out, sadly, of my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is my favorite way to prime my eyes. I get asked all the time, what do you prime your eyes with? And it is this. I have been out of it for about two weeks now, and I've been trying other concealers and nothing compares. I need something that has a lot of coverage in it because I don't really have issues with my eyeshadows creasing. I don't have oily eyelids, but I am very vascular her, my esthetician. She said, I have, I have the most vascular skin she's ever seen. And you can see every little vein and discoloration on my eyelids. So I need something to cancel that out to prep it for eyeshadow. And this is my favorite. And I use the color Light 3 Honey, completely out of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use the shade Medium. I promptly had, I mean, I had a backup before I was out of this once I hit pan on this, which I will say the only con is that I hit pan on this very quickly. Um, once I hit pan on it, I immediately ordered another one so I wouldn't be without. I love it to set foundation, but it's also one of my very favorite touch up powders. So again, that's in the shade medium. This is one of my very favorite glosses of all time and it is the Beauty Counter Bare Shimmer Gloss. So I'm out of this, you can see I scraped the sides. There's no more scraping to be done. And I, again, this was something that I had a backup of before I ran out because I keep it in my purse and I use it every single day. And then finally, some mascaras that I went through. I have got so many mascaras open right now that I'm using. I don't typically have as many open at one time as I do right now, but because I was working on a mascara video, which I'm not sure is up yet or not, um, I needed to be trying more than one out at a time. But as you can see, this is definitely one of my all-time favorite mascaras. These are two of the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascaras. This is definitely the most expensive mascara that I have ever used, but it's also one that to me is worth every penny. It is really, really good on the lashes. I always get comments and compliments on my lashes when I wear it. And I do have a backup. It's not open yet, but I do always have one in my drawer ready to go because it's that good. And then finally, I have the MAC Extend to Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I have this one because I use it every single day on my lower lashes. It's a tubing mascara, so it absolutely does not smudge. The wand is super small and skinny, so it is perfect for getting on those lower lashes without getting all over your under eye. And it's been a favorite of mine for years. Always have a backup of this one. In fact, I just ordered my backup yesterday, so gotta love that. Y'all, I went through so many products. I'm really proud of myself. The only bad thing about going through products is that I have to repurchase, but all of these are tried and true for me. There's not one that I would be like, oh yeah, not good at all. And I will do my best to link as many as I can down in the description box. I talked about so many and YouTube cuts you off after a certain amount of characters, but I will do my best and I do use affiliate links. So I appreciate anybody and everybody who uses those to help support my channel. So thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.